guys it's tuesday um i'm already setting myself down here uh in the sofa starting watching some youtubes while i'm waking up and drinking my coffee apparently uh a lot of you have posted updates this morning so i will have i think a couple of hours of youtube watching today while i'm finishing off my owl i've been um I only have like the head and the feet left on the owl and I'm so excited to get this done really really excited so yeah it's gonna be a good day so good morning and have an awesome day the owl is done here is it um, finally finished it all I really really like it I thought I'd show you this little thing um, I sign all my work with one of these little um, backstitch things um, I don't sign my cards, but I sign all of the bigger pieces with that little bit. And when I framed it, I tried to put a note in the back uh, telling uh, which design it is, from which kind of kit, and that I stitched it, and when I stitched it. So that when people get them, the idea is that they will be here for years and years and years. and. Um, maybe my sister's son's ch children want to know um, who done it if I'm not here then so yeah so that is the finished piece another glance if you want to have look at a better picture of it I actually have put one up on Instagram and on the Facebook group and a little bit everywhere so you can see them there I wanted to kind of kind of make a, a little short explanation on why I'm sick so long as I am. So um, I told this before I suffer from SLE, uh, lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease and an autoimmune disease means that my immune system um, thinks that uh, basic things that happening in my body is wrong and they try to kind of delete them like for example i have infections in my joints um a lot of infections in my joints so they are the ones th that is what uh, is the most painful is the joint but there's a very sad side effect from this and that is when your immune system isn't meant to have stamina it's not meant to go on for months and years it's meant to have this like intense go fix this little thing it might be a cut on your arm it might be a virus infection You're supposed to go there fight it off and then rest but as i have an autoimmune disease that have these all the time my immune system gets tired it gets fatigued so as it is constantly fighting my own body when other things come in, like a simple cold, a virus infection, uh, my immune system isn't fully strong enough to fight this off. It's, it doesn't have it. So it takes a much longer time for me to fight off a cold than it would for anyone else. And that can be up to months to actually finish off a cold. And that is why I have a low-grade fever constantly at the moment. Um, my body is fighting the cold and that is the fever comes from uh, the immune system fighting um, but I it can't fight it hard enough so uh, it doesn't kill it off it just keep on fighting so I continue to have a low-grade fever I never get how good fevers and that is probably because my immune system is tired so it, it hasn't the energy to fight so hard that I get a high fever. But it is tiresome and I'm now, I don't know, I think I had fever for one week or something like that, one and a half weeks. And that is dipping into my strength a lot. I'm very tired today. But I want to look at the positive side always want to look at the positive side 
of things. I can't go to work and I have a hard time making cards because that means I have to sit up in a chair. But I can do my cross stitch. And that's also one of the reasons why I'm so quick at stitching. I'm not quick at stitching. Uh, I just happen to stitch from the morning when I got up to the evening when I go to bed. And some days I cook food, other days I don't. Other days my boyfriend does it for me and then it means that I'm basically stitching from morning to night. So that I get a lot done, it's all because I'm sitting here in my sofa doing it all day. Because I don't have energy to do anything else. But I'm having fun and that is important too. Well, uh, this was a long travel for me. Uh, if you have any questions about things, um, I'm very open about my life and about all these issues that my body has. So um, don't be afraid to ask. You can ask in the comments, you can PM me uh, in any way you want to. So, yeah. Then you know. Um, here. It's my little uh, floss jar. I never had a floss jar before uh, to keep the bits and pieces in. And this is all the rest I have from the owl. There are some bits and pieces from one of the mices, I think. But mostly from the owl. And I topped it off with all the beginned pieces. Um, when I save my jar, I save the full length lengths that I got from the kit because I got a lot of materials over so I just uh, wind it up on my bobbins uh, but I also as I pull one thread at a time I save the ones that are full length so it might be a full length but only like four threads left um, but I save that one but the pieces that I've started stitching on and then cut off those I don't save because I kind of feel like uh, they have already gone through the materials enough times to uh, that I wouldn't want to start a new project with them. So I filled up with those. Like there are just bits and pieces in length. And as you see here, I am now starting on the head again. So I'm at, so you can see now, kind of um, in, before I start, this is page seven. And this is how far I've gotten. And, uh, well, I'm going to start and see how it is to do this with a frame on. Well, guys, it's evening. I'm going to head to bed. Um, I had all the intentions of doing a lot of things today, but, yeah, when you're sick, you're sick. So, I actually have been uh, doing my head, basically. Doing in my head. Uh, no, but here... Um, I have filled out almost all of the yellow here um, and over here I've also added some of the reds here and a whole bunch here and here so there's a whole bunch of things that is done and kind of fun I'm gonna see uh, if I actually have gotten a higher cross stitch speed um, with the two hand thing, it's kind of nice lying here in the sofa, is cross stitching. Wish I could do all of the other things, but yeah, I can't. But I am gonna head to bed to sleep, so good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>